Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to upsample and downsample footage in FFmpeg. So let's jump right in. Shameless plug for the website, itsnippets.co.uk in front of me. And I'm going to, first of all, open a PowerShell window. And in this case, I have FFmpeg installed into my cone slash temp folder. This is it's nothing new. So I'm just going to DIR. And inside there, you can see that I have intro-1.mp4. So that's actually what I'm going to be trying to make into the 4K version. So the command I'm going to use in order to do that, in this case, upsampling 4K, is this long one here. So what I'm doing is I'm calling ffmpeg.exe, which is in the binary folder. I'm giving it a dash i, which is an input file, and I'm telling it it's intro dash 1.mp4, and I'm doing dash vf, which is the video format. I'm giving it scale equals 3840 times 2560, which is 4K, and I'm putting a colon, then giving it flags equals lankzos. Now, lankzos is one of several types of like, recompiling algorithm. And this one seems to be the closest blend between smoothness and blocky footage. You can experiment. I'll probably do a comparison of them all in an upcoming video. But for the time being, I would, I would stick with that. So dash C is a compiler for the video, which is libx264, so mp4. And I'm giving it the preset slow. The reason I'm giving it the preset slow is I want it to take its time. If the preset is set to slow, that's the best quality you're going to get. And then I'm giving it the output file, which is .intro-1. Dash MP4. Now, something to be clear before I actually hit return here. I do not recommend upsampling 1080p to 4K unless you have an absolutely balling camera, or in this case, it's my intro, which isn't going to look too much different because there's not a lot of movement on it and it's not particularly high resolution at the best of time. So when I hit return, what should happen is it should start to encode. Now, this is CPU encoding, so it doesn't use your graphics card, so it will take some time. As you see, it's doing 10 frames per second and dropping. Okay, that's it finished. And as you can see, I now have intro dash one dash four K over here. Now what I did while it was encoding to make this easier as I opened my C colon slash temp folder, as you can see. So this isn't a 4K monitor and I won't be uploading this in 4K, but you will be able to see if I open this up that there's a significant difference in size. And if we look at the original and go to properties and then details, you can see this is 1920 by 1080. And if we do the same on the new 4K one, you can see it's 3840 by 2560. I will play it. It is a remote session. I'm not sure how good it would be. Let's check that out. I'm not updating it now. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. It's not the sharpest in the world, but it's also not terrible. Okay, so in order to downsample footage, we literally just use the same command almost identically. Except we're going to change the output file name to, we'll make it 720p. And we go over to the scale over here and we change that. So that should now be 1280 by 720. The rest of it stays the same. We point to FFmpeg. We give it the input file intro1.mp4. We give it the video scaler. Scale equals 1288 times 720. We give it a colon. Flags equals lankzos. Just like in the previous section. Dash C to give it the codec. Colon V for video. And we're using the libx264. The dash preset is slow, and then the output file, as I said, is intro dash 1720p. Downsampling is probably going to look better in some footage, but again, results may vary. 
as you can see right away, the down sampling is a lot faster at 30 frames per second it started, whereas the last one was like 10. And that's done already. So as you can see, I now have intro dash one dash 720p, and if I double click that, you can see that the edges are definitely not as sharp, but it actually seems to be okay. So remember, my intro is only 10 seconds long, and it took more than 10 seconds to downsample it, but it took a minute, maybe even longer, to do it on the upsampling 4K. So that's how you can use FFmpeg to upsample or downsample your actual footage. If you want some more in-depth details about that, I can do a future tutorial on it. This was just something quick that I was trying to do in order to show you how powerful the FFmpeg is and the fact that even a command line application can give you some pretty decent results. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.